Hey guys, it's Oaks, your brother from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Today is the 4th of July. And the 4th of July just means Independence Day. Just means a lot of food and bars. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Don't get in trouble. Enjoy your day. So, happy birthday, America and all the Americans fellows all over the world enjoy your day okay and uh, like I said be responsible and in this video we're gonna just go freestyle we're gonna talk football while enjoying the day outside barbecue food booze and all the good stuff we're gonna talk a little bit about football okay so let's start by this news here According to Nizar Kinsella, he said Chelsea have been offered the chance to sign both Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar Jr. this summer. PSG open to selling Neymar and he is open to a Premier League move. What do you think? I already said Cristiano Ronaldo will give you 20 goals. He's going to bring a lot of drama in the team. Whatever the theory is, but he's going to score goals. He's not going to defend. He's not going to dribble past everybody like the young Ronaldo. But you know what you got. We missed a lot of chances last season. If it was Ronaldo, I think we were going to win a few more trophies because we were missing too many. We don't create enough, but the few that we got, we don't, we don't, we don't take them. So Cristiano Ronaldo is somebody that will give you goals. Let me know in the comment what you think about Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea Football Club because it's just getting momentum. And let's be honest here. Cristiano Ronaldo will never come out and say, I'm leaving if he doesn't know where he's going. The guy already knows exactly where he's going. Probably Bayern Munich. I see him going to Bayern. But I'm not going to be surprised if Todd Bowley want to take Chelsea to the next level commercially because when you sign somebody like Ronaldo your commercial value is gonna be through the roof now you have to convince Thomas Tuchel to work with a superstar like Ronaldo and accept his ego for probably one or two seasons let's wait and see what's gonna happen Neymar Jr I'm not too sure I've already said that Neymar is injury prone he doesn't look like he cares about football anymore. It's all about his sister's birthday. Three months off every single season. I don't want him at Chelsea Football Club. And the weather in England is different. The tackle that he's going to get in the Premier League, he might you know, be out for the rest of the season. You never know. But again, if Todd Bowley want to take Chelsea to the next level and he want to bring Neymar let it be you know and when you sign somebody like neymar at chelsea football club the value of the club go through the roof and you're gonna make a lot of money and you're gonna get uh the future generation of chelsea fans all over the world that the way it's gonna be let me know also what do you think about neymar jr to chelsea <laughs> there we go as we are celebrating freedom we are free to say what we want as soon, as long as you can respect each other and keep it clean. That the way it is. Freedom of speech. That uh, what this country is all about. <clears throat> so, yeah. Look at this. This was uh, from Mr. Kinsella who reported about Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar Jr. The focus now for Chelsea is about Raheem Sterling. With Thomas Tuchel not keen to be seduced by, by star power. Well, what that means? What that even means? It means like he's not seduced by the star's power. Like they're going to be too powerful for Thomas Tuchel to, to manage their egos. I don't know even what that means. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? about the whole situation here we move 
Good news every day, but not concrete. <laughs> a full agreement between Chelsea and Manchester City for Raheem Sterling is very close and expected to be finalized early this week, according to Ben Jacobs. So, we've been hearing this for a couple of weeks now. Tomorrow, FC about to be concluded. FC waiting, FC considering, FC we move time to announce Raheem Sterling and we can move from there. Next up, Usman Dembele, never ending debate. Chelsea remain hopeful they can still pursue Usman Dembele to move to West London, but he remains locked in talk with Barcelona over a new deal. You know what? I kind of agree with people who said, you don't want my club, you stay where you are at. I don't want to be a second choice. I don't want to be just in case. Okay? Because we are the almighty blues. We're going to sign even better players. You know what I mean? So Dembele, you have to make up your mind. And Chelsea, if we can't get him, it's not the end of the world. <coughs> Chelsea closing on the lead. <coughs> Sterling, Nathan Ake, Milekovic Savic, De Jong, Ronaldo, Rice, Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to sign everybody, people, at the end of the day. Let's go. What is the other news that we have in the community? This one is very important. Thomas Tuko is using data from a, an analytics company he has worked with since his Dortmund days to inform his transfer recommendation this summer. <coughs> Rafinha was targeted after his creative matrix scored particularly well against other attackers. So, Thomas Tuko is in charge 100% of getting players that you want. No more excuses, no more the board signings excuses. Right? So, uh, Rafinha, for your information, Todd Bowley actually gave the money. So it has nothing to do with Todd Bowley. It has something to do with the target that Thomas Tuchel want are very difficult to get. So don't blame Todd Bowley, but you have to be a little bit patient. According to The Athletic, there are strong indications that Thomas Tuchel is looking for new signings that will ease the transition to a different system and more spe uh, specifically that he wants to play a back four. This is music to my ears. This is the news that I've been waiting for all this time. We need to go to back four. We need to allow our wingers, our attackers to start cooking and get the best out of them. So if this is true, Thomas Tuchel, you're already a winner. You win me already. But if we're going to continue with the stupid three at the back and play Raheem Sterling as a wing back, I'm not going to be happy. Even though I support him, give him time to walk. But listen, I am not going to shut up. I'm going to say what I want as long as I don't sell to anybody. I'm going to tell the truth always. And the truth is going to cost you a lot. There's nothing wrong by saying the system killed a lot of our, of our attackers. And it's time to change and allow our attacker to start punishing teams instead of defense first, clean sheet first kind of approach. Nothing else to report today. Hakim Ziyech getting closer to AC Milan. This is another brother that we couldn't give a chance to fail or succeed because we never played him. Literally played a Chelsea football club or every time he plays, it's from the wrong position in the wrong system. So good luck to him if he moves to AC Milan. But if we're going to have to sell somebody like Hakim Ziyech, we need to make sure that we get somebody in his position. All right, people. So that's it. Uh, I wanted just to share with you quickly. Oh, and how can you forget this brother here, Matisse Delit? Chelsea have held 
some discussion for Frankie the Young. Some discussion. We don't even know what that means. But it looks like uh, we are making some progress, even though it doesn't look like we are doing any anything. But like I said, our target are very, very difficult to get. It's not easy to get somebody like Delete who has a release close of 120 million. It's going to take a lot of negotiations to do. Raheem Sterling, not easy to get him from City. Rafinha, very difficult because the player want to join Barcelona. So don't blame the board. Don't blame Thomas Tuchel because we don't have to rush and buy some a bunch of players just because online fans are putting some pressure and we end up by buying uh, a, a bunch of dead wood and then regret after that. We have to wait until we got the right person in place.